it. Let's fly, let's roll, let's get it. Whoa, shawty showing out, throwing on the dance floor. Fashion killer, huh? You don't give a fuck. What a nigga gotta say or a bitch. What? Hey guys, it's Sunny Marie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the fam because we stay with you over here. And if you're a turning viewer, hi, how are you guys doing on this lovely day? As you guys tell by the title of this video, your girl is back with another vlog, okay? Another vlog. We got a few things we gotta get done. Um, Obviously, I need to do my hair. I do. Um, I took my twist out because I am slowly starting to prep for my birthday. So if you are a relaxed girly or were a relaxed girly at some point, you know that when you have braids or twists or whatever the case may be, you gotta have your hair out for at least like two weeks before you get it relaxed. Granted, I've seen people get their hair relaxed like right after they take their braids and stuff out. I just don't wanna take any chances. You know, I like my hair. I do. And my scalp already be she be wishy-washy so i try to take all the precautions that i can and let my hair breathe before we go slap some chemicals on there but i'm doing it so early because i want to dye my hair guys not the whole thing not the whole thing just like a little patch and i know y'all probably like have seen the patch on tiktok like it's a very popular thing but i'm gonna let y'all know right now i had the patch back in like middle school okay my bang used to be all one color it was like a orangish situation however that's not the color i want to do but we're going to talk more about it if it actually happens because i gotta talk to my hairdresser about it because i want to know like how much it's gonna cost for one and like if she can actually do it without bleaching my hair because i don't want any bleach but the color i want doesn't really require bleach my hair is not black it's just a really dark brown anywho that was completely sidetracked but i just wanted to update y'all so stay tuned for like hair journey videos because <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I also am going to the gym today, even though I really don't feel like him, to be honest. I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't want to go, but I'm going to go um, because I told myself that I need a nice little balance of cardio and weights. And I've been doing like a cardio type situation home workout. It's like a weight loss thing because I feel like I just need a better balance of both of them. I feel like I've been doing a lot of weight stuff and not enough cardio. So I'm trying to incorporate more cardio, trying to move my body more. However, I do still need to do weights. And I also just don't want a protein smoothie. I'm just gonna be honest because the fruit that I have, I don't know which fruit it is, but it has a lot of seeds in it and they don't get blended up. So when I be drinking it, I be having to like get the seeds out because I'm like, oh my gosh. And sometimes it'd be a lot and it's just, it's a lot. Anyways, that's what I'm about to say. I have to go to the gym, but I don't want to go. However, I'm going to go. I'm going to try and take you guys with me. Hopefully there's nobody in there and I can record. Maybe. I have to plan some July content. So I'm going to do that. I also have to send out a couple emails. So I'm going to do that um and yeah i have to update my planner that's the other thing i have to update my planner yesterday i wanted to do yesterday i wanted to update my planner and like you know just prep for the week or whatever but it was storming really bad y'all like really bad like the power went out probably like three four times i was like you know what i'm just gonna sit right here on the couch and do nothing but that's what this vlog is gonna entail that's what you guys are going to see um so yeah i'm about to stretch it out and just go ahead and get ready to go to the gym so i can get it out the way because i just really don't feel like going i just don't feel like going and honestly i think it's because in my mind i had it set that i wasn't going because it was also supposed to storm this morning however it's sunny outside so i'm just like okay <gasps> let's get this day started guys <laughs> Chef major with it in a heartbeat, yeah.
All right guys, so it took forever, but I'm finally done with my hair. I went to the gym, I was able to get a few clips in. I'm proud of myself. I'm also proud because I didn't feel like going, but I went and I think that it was a successful workout. I had breakfast, I drank my protein smoothie. I think my blender is low key kind of sort of broken. So I'm gonna have to buy a new one, but that one was only $20. So that's, you get what you pay for, you know? I'm feeling kind of lazy, I'm not gonna lie. However, I still have a few more things that I need to get done today. I'm going to update my planner and then I'm probably gonna come back to you guys when I'm about to plan my July content. Cause I think I know kind of sort of what direction I'm gonna go in for July. That's what I'm about to work on right now. And yeah, then I have to do like some adult things look at some bills that I have to pay and do my job search and all that other stuff because you know your girl's still looking for a social media marketing position okay so if anybody knows anybody looking for one let me know um but yeah that's what I'm about to do now that's the update so yeah Let's see. I think I said this in my last video. I like to always like color coordinate with the month. So I think for July, I'm gonna do like a blue color. I don't know, something about July just says blue, you know? So let's see, July. By the time you guys see this, it is the first week of July. So obviously I'm posting a vlog in July. This is numero uno, so vlog. Let me just see how many weeks are in July because I do not know. Let's see, how many Sundays are in July? Five. Ah! ah, ah. <laughs> I always get stressed when it's like five Sundays in the month because it's like, dang, I gotta come up with like a lot of ideas for this book. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. But it's all good. Um, I'm gonna finish planning this and then I'm going to send some emails and do all the other boring stuff. And I will probably come back to you guys honestly i don't really have much else planned for the day aside from like planning content and stuff so i might just catch up with you guys another day not sure yet but i don't want this to get repetitive because i'm literally just about to be sitting here staring at my screen i will see you guys probably in a couple of days or so hopefully i work the rest of the week but we really do need to go grocery shopping and i'm still hoping that we can get a curtain rod for this balcony curtain so yeah stay tuned for that i will see you guys well in this video in like a couple seconds but right now in a couple days bye oh i didn't know i was recording i feel weird because i'm not looking at the camera but hey guys we are currently on our way to the grocery store they got the emergency lights on we are on our way to the grocery store right now um gotta go get some groceries because you know i told y'all we go to the grocery store i feel like in every freaking vlog and i apologize it is so bright outside it's incredibly hot in georgia welcome to hot atlanta um but yeah that's the update i will try to remember remind me to do a grocery haul okay no okay ty is gonna remind me to do a grocery haul you want to say hi no okay i'm Thanks. just a cameraman that's not gonna say anything that's it but you just said something continue Oh, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's all. Um, I'm sure as you guys can tell, we are in a new environment here, but we'll talk about that in another video. So, with all that being said, let's go to Target. Adulting is ghetto, guy. Ty is acting a fool in the store. Stop! <laughs> There's somebody on the aisle. <laughs> we have made it back to the infamous kitchen. We are going to start with. The cold stuff here. Let's see what we got. We got this oversized bag of cold stuff. Shout outs to Xfinity, but not really because our internet always goes in and out. So there's that. We got some bacon because we eat bacon around here. We don't eat bacon, we eat turkey bacon. Yeah, it's turkey bacon, guys. Because I know people would probably let me like, I thought you only eat. Oh! We got popsicles. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know what I'm saying. In the summertime, this is where it's at. 
You did what I'm saying, get you some. Oops, we have spinach too. I just put it in the freezer. This stuff is kind of melting because like I said, it's really hot outside. So I'm trying to put it away. First of all, I'm, I'm gonna be the person to describe what we got. All right, we got two red baron pieces, not just any type of red baron look, pieces. We got the cheese trio. If you don't know about the cheese trio, you don't really no, no, know. No, 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 If you got a gas oven, these hit differently. Like the way it's made, it just, it, it's like made, I don't know. But it, it's good, okay? It's good. And then we got some broth. See, we don't call it broccoli. We don't need to say all that, you know what I'm saying? If the food good, you say it for two, whatever. But listen, we got broccoli, you know what I'm saying? We got broccoli. Why we got orange juice? Oh, orange juice is for me. You don't drink no orange juice Fun in fact, here? guys, I hate orange juice, but I drink it from time to time. She hates it, but she drinks it. it makes okay. no sense. We got provolone cheese. Provolone cheese. And then we got some fajita chicken. You know what I'm saying? You know, fajita chicken. You make up some chilies. You can make all types of stuff with this. I ain't gonna lie to you. You can make quesadillas. You can make uh, Philly cheese steak. You can stir fry. Oh, chicken alfredo. Oh, yeah, chicken alfredo. Yep, that's definitely what we put in the chicken alfredo. Y'all, look, I'm gonna let you know. We be cooking things that are like quick meals. So, like, these are, you know, if y'all want some cooking videos, we can chef it up real quick for you. Yeah, AKA you know. me. Cause he don't cook. First of all, she, now she just capped out cause she tripping. Look, he don't cook for me. I I I assist, okay. And as long as I assist, that's helping. And By assisting, help. he means he just walks around and y'all looks at what she I'm doing. lying. Anyways, we got turkey. You know, this is for the turkey burgers. This is for our nachos, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? We always eat. keep the turkey on deck. Cause like I said, quick and easy meals. We got some mild cheddar cheese, you know what I'm saying? We some cheese lovers. I love cheese. Cheese is like, they say it's bad for you, but hey, a lot of the bad stuff be really the good stuff. I'm gonna be honest. We got some bread for the Phillies, you know what I'm saying? This bread. is the hoagie bread. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I forgot to show them my salmon. I got some salmon, y'all. I like to go to Kroger and get the little two pack salmon cause it's like two in here. It's already cut for me. I just. Take it out, put it in a freezer bag, and then some sandwich bags, and freeze it until I'm ready to cook it. We got some Hawaiian bread. Now, I feel like I ain't trying to be racist, but I feel like every black household has these. And if you don't have these, you should get some, so that way you know, you know. I don't eat these, though. I'm going to keep it 100. I don't. I make sausage sandwiches with them. Turkey sausage sandwiches, y'all. But they be hitting. I'm trying to tell you. He didn't have them before, and he know they was hitting when he had them. I don't right. eat too much bread. Oh. But I get bread though. Hi, I'm tired. I don't eat bread so I can stay skinny. We have seasonings, you know what I'm saying? We just, we got the seasoning for the taco. Then we got chicken taco seasoning. See, y'all need to hit. If y'all ain't never tried no chicken taco seasoning, you might want to get some. You know, you can use this for like basically chicken tacos. You know what I'm saying? I don't even use that. Coffee bait for my tea because I don't drink coffee. If you put coffee mate in your tea or milk in your tea, comment down below because I was raised with my family putting coffee mate in their tea. And I have been asked if I'm making coffee tea, but I'm not. It's it's tea, I promise. Listen, for Breeze, if you got a household, listen. And you're looking for a sponsor, okay, look, for, for Breeze. You know, if you're looking for a sponsor, we we love, we love your sprays. Especially okay? this one. Yes. The Mediterranean lavender. This it smells is... really good. I like the game one. I like the downy April Fresh one too. I like the clean linen one too, but we wanted to switch it up and get lavender. But this one just hits different. This one more potent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can actually and then smell. like, if you guys didn't know, lavender also supposedly helps. No, it's not supposedly. It, it keeps the bugs keep away. It keeps bugs away, yeah. So when we, we be one apartment to smell like lavender in the summertime, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We also got ginger ale. I don't know if we told y'all that, but we got the ginger in the ale. You know what I'm saying? We just Fun don't hold those. Ty and I don't really drink soda, so that is like literally the only soda that we keep in the house, just in case. Well, he has starry too, but. Let me tell y'all what I drink. Hold up. Because see, listen, guys, listen. If y'all want to oh. be a nice guest and y'all want to help I, me out. Ta-da. I am a I don't drink sodas like that, you know what I'm saying? But however, I will drink this. Let me let me get y'all close up. These are these like Japanese sodas with the little marble, you gotta pop it to drink it. Yeah, if y'all guys can find like 24 pack of the strawberry or the grape ones, I would love you guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's practically it. I have been influenced by TikTok. I love these. I love this flavor, the poppy and the strawberry lemonade. 
I buy it every time I'm about to eat a lot of cheese because it really do help with my digestive health and y'all look if you know me personally like my stomach I just have I'm very lactose intolerant it's bad but I, I like eating cheese so gotta balance it out I got pizza rolls why are you holding it like it's we have Lysol to kill all the germs you know we are some very hygienic people if that's a word we don't really like a dirty place and we don't like our place smelling all weird and stuff and yeah. we don't we damn we really don't like sick people i'm gonna just keep it a hundred i'm gonna just keep it i'm gonna just keep it solid we use the light saw to keep the germs away you know what i'm saying we got some trash bags for obvious reasons like you need a bag for your trash and if you don't use bags for your trash it's a little odd but you know i guess no judgment here right clean dishes kind of hurry up because i still got four stuff in now y'all okay Got some slipper dusters so that way we could dust. It'd be getting dusty in here from time to time. We got some unstoppables. If you want to know what we smell like, it's partially this. This is mostly what our house smells like when we do laundry. A little down the unstoppable. I got some toner. I got some honey pot wash, which I know a lot of people don't use anymore, which is great because now I can find it in the store because I ain't never had no issues with it. So lotion because we don't stay ashy over here. I do. Pimple patches because these are my holy grail and they really help me out when I'm breaking out. And some chapstick because yesterday I realized I didn't have no chapstick. I was at work and my lips were dry. And he just let me walk around with dry, dry lips. So, I've been asleep for the past two days. I that is everything that we have gotten. I am going to come back to you guys after we are done putting this stuff away. I probably might head back out because I have to go to Ulta um but yeah and i'm also really hungry i don't think i'm gonna make it to the gym today that was my workout all right guys so ty decided to accompany me to ulta because i saw some elf dupes on tiktok that i really want to get i want to get the laniche dupe for the lips and then i want to get the grande lash for the um my eyebrows because i'm trying to grow my eyebrows out anyways i don't want to get copyrighted so i'll come back to you guys if i find something so i got the this is the enhancing lash and brow serum from target ulta didn't have either of them sold out so ty suggested i go to another ulta which is kind of far and i don't want to go to but i'm gonna go because i really want to try and find this lip balm because apparently it's the dupe for the lineage lip balm and i really want the lineage but if i can find a dupe that's even better and we have a new addition to our family it's a fake plant for the bathroom um i have a whole vision that i'm gonna do for the bathroom i'm not gonna put it out yet but they're going in the bathroom we just don't have a name for it yet like, what should we name the plant, guys? I feel like all the plants have to have a name, cause tough, we, tough. We should name it tough. It's yeah. a, okay. We can name it tough. That's fair. So this is our new addition to our family, tough. If y'all watch Avatar, y'all know who that is. Yes, cause all of our plants in our household are named after freaking Avatar characters. We have Kataro, we have Ua, and we have Toph. We have made it home. I just want you guys to know, I went to the second Ulta to find that the squeeze bomb, and I'll put a picture of it on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. I went there to find it, and first of all, the associates were not helpful at all. I'm just gonna be honest, they were not helpful. And the one that I did ask, like, I know she was kind of occupied doing something, but she also didn't bother to check to see if they had more in the back. She was just like, oh, if we did have it, it would be out. And I was just like, all right, if you guys don't want my money, then just say that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know it's like four little measly dollars, but still. So we left and then I went and got gas and now we are at home. And guys, it is so freaking hot outside. It's so hot. I hate the heat. I hate the heat and I hate crazy drivers. Hey guys, yes. if y'all live in Atlanta, and y'all plan on coming to Atlanta if you're not like in the main, you know, in the main city of Atlanta. Y'all gonna need for y'all to learn how to drive. Because like, what? it was just a little ridiculous <laughs> today. It was literally ridiculous. Like, I cannot tell y'all how many times I had to slam on the brakes because somebody in front of me didn't know how to drive. Like, it was getting out of hand. And then I ain't forget about the Volkswagen that was beeping at me because they wanted me to go and I couldn't go. There was literally people in front of me, guys. Listen, like, oh my gosh. Listen, guys, y'all can't be those types of drivers. If you see somebody making a left turn, everybody know how the anxiety builds up when you're making a left turn on a main road. If you know Peachtree Road, you know how busy that road is. However, yeah. I do want you guys to remember that I got in my first car accident 
make like someone was making a left turn and they hit me so like i'm already very like cautious when it comes to left turns but they were beeping at me as if i could go i guess i didn't know there was cars in front of me there were two people in front of me so i couldn't even like make a turn if i wanted to then when i get up there and i can make a turn like there was cars coming but they still beeped at me and i'm just like would you want me to go out of the road and get hit like make it make sense y'all gotta stay off y'all phones yes we literally i had to like aggressively beep the horn because somebody was stopped in the middle of the road because they thought the light was still red and they were on their phone and they were not paying attention so that's how our driving experiences went today anyways i just wanted to come on here because i already started editing half this vlog and i know it's probably kind of long so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me for a couple days of my life look next vlog i will try and actually decorate I really, really want to get a freaking curtain rod for those curtains, but I know I'm going to get the rest of the stuff for the bathroom. I need to get some navy blue towels, like hang on a little rod, and then I got to get a little basket thing because I saw one in Target, but I left my phone in the car so I couldn't vlog it. Um, I'm going to get a little basket thing to like sit on top of the toilet so that way I could put the fake plant, the wipes, and the air freshener all in there and it'll be nice and cute and I'm excited. Toph is currently in there, our fake plant, and she's sitting on the counter right now because I don't want her to fall off the side of the toilet. And I think I'm gonna paint the pot pink. Y'all see that? Pink. She didn't ask me what I wanted it to be. Because he, look, okay, I am trying to keep the apartment as neutral tone as possible. So a lot of stuff is green or is blue. And I just feel like I have to insert some pink somewhere in there. Like that is me. That's my personality. Anyways, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, which is always in the description box down below. Make sure you follow Ty as well. I will put his on the screen and in the description box. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys. I want a chick that grind on a nine to five. Hope she in them college books trying to get a rise. But tonight, I'm just trying to have a good time.